Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a cook with me. So I'm gonna be making buffalo chicken wraps. I'm really excited, they sound so good and I've been wanting to make these for a couple days now. So I thought I might as well film it for you guys and do it with you. So it's gonna be really good. This week has been so crazy. It's literally only Tuesday. I told you guys in my last video that Liam's home with me for two weeks. So I'm working from home and have him home with me. So things have been so crazy. So I'm just ready to have a nice dinner and relax tonight. So I'm excited to do this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So I got everything out. I'm gonna season the chicken with this kickin' chicken seasoning, pepper, I don't know what else I'm gonna use, but just these for sure to start off. And I'm gonna cook the chicken with this olive oil. I have a huge thing of cheese, tortilla shells. I love this buffalo sauce, it's so good. I have ranch and I'm gonna put salsa on mine and then we have a bunch of lettuce. And here's the chicken, we're doing chicken tenderloins. Okay, so we put the seasoning on there and it's here now cooking, it smells so good. So we added more oil in here, it looks so good, and these need about a few more minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and take them out and cut them into strips. Look at our little view over here. Liam is just watching his show, he's watching Peppa Pig. Liam, say hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. So we just took these off, they look really good. Okay, so now that's done cooking, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. So I wanted the strips to be small pieces of chicken to go inside the wraps. And this chicken is so hot, it just came out. So I'm gonna get a fork just to help me cut this because I was like burning my fingers doing this, but it's gonna be so good when it's done. So I'm just cutting these into small pieces. And then after I'm done cutting, I'm gonna shake it in hot sauce and ranch, and it's gonna be really good. So we put everything in the bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put ranch and buffalo sauce in here and just mix it up. And then we're gonna put it in our wraps. Okay, so I did chicken, cheese, lettuce, a little bit of salsa, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. It looks amazing. So if you guys love watching cooking videos and things like that, definitely comment down below because I always find myself looking up different recipes on Pinterest and it's so fun. Okay, so I went ahead and put this into a wrap. It looks so good, you guys. Okay, taste test. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. This came out amazing guys that was so good i'm so full i only had one i thought i was gonna have another wrap but there's no way i can i'm already full it definitely had a kick to it but i love spicy stuff so i thought it was amazing but if you guys don't like spicy stuff i would really only in the chicken with like salt and pepper and maybe garlic salt and don't do the extra seasonings on it and then just do the buffalo and ranch it wouldn't be as spicy but so good such an easy meal and we have leftovers for tomorrow it was really good and i want to start doing more cooking things i want to really start cooking more in the house so I thought it would be fun to cook with you guys if you guys have any ideas of recipes you would like to see from me or ones that you guys love making in your home definitely comment down below because I love trying new things and new recipes even desserts I'm such a dessert person so definitely comment down below because I will definitely be interested in ideas like that we had such a nice weekend. So on Saturday, we went and spent time with family, which was really, really nice. Liam got to play with his cousins. He loved it, it was so cute. And I've actually been using this time home with him to really get potty training done, and he practically has it. He's been going on the potty every day. He, I've only had him in underwear almost the whole time except for at night and he's had a few accidents definitely my house has it all over but honestly it's worth it to really just once you know you're going to do potty training don't go back so i have been non-stop doing it and 
he still has to tell me if he has to go because he does have accidents but you know what i'm so proud of him he's actually going now without the little seat on top so he has a potty which i put on top of the toilet and if we're out somewhere and he doesn't have that he will go on the potty without it which is a huge accomplishment so within a few days i think i got him good i think he'll be 100 percent potty trained and i'm so happy i'm so proud of him he's doing amazing just being home with him has been so nice and i'm able to actually get that done on sunday was so nice so matt took liam and himself over to his mom's house liam got to spend time with his grandma and grandpa and i had a little self-care day so i went to the nail salon when they opened i got my nails done which you guys can see i switched shapes so i used to have i go back and forth so i had square before with like rounded edges and then i switched to this round shape and i went back to square and i love them like this love the oval round shape and i love the color and I got the same color on my toes. I thought this would be like the last summer color that I do and it's Florida so it's always hot here and it's August but I know it's back to school so I'll be starting to get into like my fall colors. But I did that and then we all went to the mall. Liam got to run around and play and they had really good deals there. I got jeans actually. I haven't shopped at Aeropostale in years you guys but they had jeans buy one get one free. And seriously they have the cutest jeans. I only ever buy like mom jeans or High-waisted, those are my favorite, but I'm obsessed. Like the ones I have on right now are from there. They're so cute, so I had to go ahead and get those. And it was so fun. I haven't been to the mall in a long time. So that's a little update on our weekend. And then this week I've been so busy working. I have been doing good with my workouts. So I know I posted a workout routine video for you guys. And I'm trying to get back to doing workouts like three times a week. Did a little 10 minute ab workout today. And then I did 300 jumping jacks. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do that because I post little routines and workouts that I do there. But I just got it on Pinterest and YouTube. I just feel so much better getting a little bit of a workout in, being active. I'm back to drinking my collagen and my greens. I love doing that. So little things like vitamins and things just to make myself feel better and healthier just trying to get back to eating healthy and doing things better just because i know with like even anxiety it can get worse when you eat bad and you just don't get exercise that's one of the main reasons i love to get exercise and out and even just going walking because it helps so much with anxiety and everything like that so that's a little update on me I'm gonna go ahead and clean this kitchen up and now I have a mess. You guys know I'll show you what my kitchen looks like but I always wipe it down before I go to bed anyways and with dirty dishes like this I'm just gonna put everything in the dishwasher but I hope you loved this cooking video and let's clean up this kitchen. Make sure you guys are subscribed because I have so many different videos on this channel so you guys can like go through and see which ones are your favorite and make sure you give this video a like as well. So I'm supposed to be cleaning up the kitchen but I came out here with Liam. He wanted to get wet in the pool so we're out here just for a little bit and then after like 20 minutes I'm gonna go inside get him ready for bed and after I get him in bed I'll go ahead and clean the kitchen up but I'm gonna show you guys look how beautiful it looks out here <laughs> he has no fear or anything Liam you like the pool <laughs> Okay, so after bath time, I like to get him in his jammies and put lotion on him and read him books. And it's so funny right now, he's in a stage where he wants to eat these little clementine oranges. Every night he asks for one. And bedtime routine is my favorite. I love the time with him and it's so special. So we're just doing this before bed and then we're gonna lay him down and I'll get the kitchen cleaned up. Okay, so this is what my kitchen looks like right now. I have stuff literally everywhere. Luckily, I don't have that many dishes. My dishwasher is empty, so I'm just going to put everything in there. But yeah, this is the mess I have. So when I have a mess like this, I find it really helpful just to pull the trash can over and throw everything away that needs to be thrown away first. And then I can actually get to the dishes because right now there's just so much going on in here. So I'm just going to start by doing that and putting all the dishes over to the sink area. And then once I put them in the dishwasher, I can go ahead and wipe down my counters and... Every night before bed, I always like to do this. I like to at least have a clean kitchen just because I can't go to sleep knowing that there's dirty dishes in here. I like to wake up to a fresh start and a new kitchen clean. So this is something that I do every night. I just have a lot more dishes than normal since we did cook tonight.
So I know it's only Tuesday while I'm recording this video, but this video will actually be going up on Sunday. So I hope everyone is having an amazing Sunday and you're having a good weekend. I don't know yet what we're going to do this weekend, but I'm excited just to have time with the family and just be out in the sunshine and enjoying the weekend. And I hope you guys have been doing good. I know a lot of people are going through it right now and it's just such a hard and confusing time. So just doing little things for yourself can make a big difference. Just literally lighting a candle and doing self-care and meditating, working out, whatever it is that you do can make a really big difference. So hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through and put all of the dishes into the dishwasher and just putting these dishes away and make the kitchen look so much better. But today I actually wanted to take the time and take everything off of the countertops and that's why I really washed everything out. I just wanted it to be clean and organized in here. And you guys, I started Outer Banks season two. I don't know if you guys have watched the first season, but the second one is so good. The whole time I'm like on the edge of my seat. I've been staying up till midnight watching it. I think I only have like four episodes left, but it's so good. I definitely recommend it. And if you guys have any shows, I have cable and Netflix, so I don't have Hulu or I think it's Paramount Plus. It has a lot of options, but if you guys recommend anything on Netflix, comment down below because I'm always looking for a show and I get like obsessed with them once i get involved with the show i just can't stop watching it so that's what i've been up to with my shows at night and i usually am like editing and doing different stuff for youtube but at night i like to watch at least one thing for me i've always been watching the bachelorette on mondays but that show is finally over so now i'm watching outer banks and yeah i had to tell you guys because it's such a good show So everything is clean and looking so good and when i open this up it's just so dirty i have a mess from like popcorn and i honestly don't know what else is in here this is like off of it i just need to really clean the inside even the top of it so i'm gonna deep clean this microwave so when i'm cleaning the microwave i'm really picky about it just because we're putting our food in there and i don't want to clean with chemicals and then it get on the food i'm super picky about that so i'm just going to use a really hot washcloth and just do soap and water and then i'll clean it all out and dry it and that's all i'm going to do i don't use any chemicals for it just because i don't want to accidentally use the wrong thing so i just use soap and water and it cleans it really really good and it definitely needs it you guys it's probably been maybe two three weeks since i've cleaned it so it's definitely a mess but i've been waiting until i was doing cleaning i was waiting until i was finally going to clean this kitchen all the countertops and everything really good so i figured i might as well go ahead and do it now Okay, so here's what it looks like now. It's literally perfectly white and clean. It looks so much better. Okay, so my kitchen's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here. It's already almost 8.30, so I'm gonna wash my face and get in comfy pajamas and just chill for the rest of the night. If you guys hear the dishwasher in the back, just ignore that, but I hope you loved this video and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I post videos every Sunday and Tuesday, so two days a week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.